Hello guys, welcome back, it's your logical as always, and today we're going to be covering the long sword. So we are, so guys, before we continue on, guys, please like, share, and subscribe, please do indeed enjoy the content. So the weapon art is square off, um, what's my opinion of that? Um, probably not too bad, it's probably, I will take it out for a spin, so I will we'll take it out for a spin and see how she goes. If it proves to be shit. I'm switching it to Stormblade because I'm sorry, but after using it with the Sword Sword, holy shit, that weapon art is really damn strong. It's a pure physical weapon, so it is C in strength and a D in dexterity, with 10 in uh, 10 requirement in both strength and dex. So it leans heavily, more heavily, on the strength side of things instead of the dexterity side of things. So it's the opposite to the short sword. So it is. So one handed. The damage is 452, and two-handed, the damage is 493, making it just flat-out baseline, just flat-out baseline stronger than the short sword. So this is just a strict improvement. So it is just an absolute strict improvement on the weapon. So it basically means there's no reason to use the short sword. But right. We've also got the quality, quality Mizzou cord in case somebody needs a good rib tickling, so what we do? We'll get the Sacred Albaneric Shield, it's mostly just for fashion for this build, so it is, and it also has gold and parry on it. Then, for our fashion, we've got the Fingerprint Helm, Black Knife Armor, Malformed Dragon Gauntlets, as well as the Fire Prelate Greaves. After that there, we've got the Bungle Talisman, the Green Turtle Talisman, RT Fable Plus 2, and the Crimson Armor Medallion Plus 2, and inside of our Physic, we've got the... Hey, uh, the HP restore when near death, as well as the HP restore over time, and that is more or less it. There's not really much else to talk about, bar its moveset, which it's R ones or standard R ones or standard. The one hand actually has a thrust on it. Oh wow, that was quick. And the two hand has a sweep. So okay, so pretty standard all in all. Okay, who's our first opponent? Hello. Doom Frost, interesting choice. Okay. Right, rock and roll kid. No buffs needed, no. Okay. Okay, dude's got poise. Ah, oh, he's making use of that heavy attack. Oh, he's making use of the poise, never mind that. Oh, the roll catch! <laughs> okay, standoff does standoff does damage. Okay, right, what we got? Oh hell! Ho 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 ho! Hold up! Hold ho ho hold the front door here using the gargoyle sword. Okay, um, I think that is the first time I've ever seen it used. So it is. He's adamant in doing that. Oh my god, the damage is absurd. His spacing was bang on though. Oh, GG, sir. <laughs> oh. GG, sir. Right, what are we up against next? Hello, Hellflame. Mage, I regret my decisions for having a standoff now. Uh, clean Rot Sword, okay. Ready to go. Go on here, try harder than that, dude. Or just. Not. Oh, the roll catch! Oh, GG, dude! <laughs> Give him credit for using the thorns though, that was interesting. 
Uh, oh, he's not going to rematch. I am happy to oblige. Ready to party hard, sir? Go and buff up. No. I let... I let you do these tricks. I let you do these tricks the last time. I am under no obligation to let you do it again. <laughs> <laughs> he tried to spam. <laughs> he tried to spam. Right, who's up next? Hello. Uh, you're also Runark. You're buffing as well. I give him credit for using that. Yeah, I'm I'm mostly miffed at the fact that you're using a rune arc though. Oh no I trade you want it, sir. Oof. Oof. Oh, he got out. Dude, I'm trying to figure out why you're using a rune arc. Oh, well done. Oh, no. <sighs> Fuck you. <laughs> He's trying to finish me with an item. Oh, why, hello. Hand of Millennia and Rivers of Blood. And he's also a Giga Poise boy too. Okay. This should be interesting enough. What's his main hand? Would be the Millennia? Okay. His main hand would definitely be the Millennia's. Unfortunately, I don't like the situation I'm in here because I would much have... <laughs> oh! I'm assuming you did your new. <laughs> I need to stop. It's just too much fun to actually just troll people. Oh, it's okay. So I'm assuming somebody's new. Either that or. No oh, worries, not for me to heal. Okay. Right, I'm wondering how to fight. Nope. Oh. Nope, not doing that again. <laughs> Hand of lady didn't work. Switch the rivers of blood. GG, sir. Um, I'm I'm not sure what to think about that one now. I'm really not. I'm assuming he's new. I'm going to just assume that they're new. Right. We're going to switch this up to our quality build now, so we are, because holy shit, we've got duels back to back. I actually am going to go with Stormblade. I have actually recently fallen in love with this thing, so I have, so we're going to use it. So, one handed, 469. Excuse me, two handed, 514. Okay, so it breaks the 500 <gasps> marker. Damn, okay. 514, okay. And then with Stormblade equipped as well, that just adds, it's an element of range. So it does, it adds a nice variation to the entire dynamic of the fight, so it does. 
Gives you more options as well. Right, who? Oh, he's not going to rematch. I shall bow. Are you going to buff up again? Buffs, yes, no. Good to go. Gonna go bu oh, gonna go buckler, really? <laughs> oh, come on, dude! You whack out a buckler, you're immediately screaming to get slapped. Are you ready? Oh, he's analyzing. He's analyzing. He's analyzing. Oh, I'm lagging. Come on, dude. I'm, I'm at risk of that parry. That's where my problem is right now. I don't have anything that's on parry. Oh, how did he poise through that? Excuse me, game. Ask for that. <sighs> GG, sir. Ah, can't land that parry on that damn weapon art anymore. Ooh, a madness spear. Okay. Uh, caster as well. Obviously, if he's using that there, he's a faith build. That's justified enough. Golden, golden value as you do, as well as the boiled crab. Interesting choice, sir. Switch into the god skin, really? Switching to the god skin, that's an interesting choice. Right, can we can we like back it up a little bit? Thank you. Ready to go then? Absolutely fucking not. People are fucking man this shit. Come on, dude. Right, I, I, I'll play my game. People like to run away? That's fine by me. You burn through every last drop of your AFP. You burn through every last drop of your AFP. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, that was too many levels of cruel. <laughs> Hello, Snapcaster with a moon veil. Oh, this should be fucking interesting. Right, you got a buff? No buffs? Arcane with a moon veil. Sir, are you feeling okay? Uh, 
and the first thing he does is go straight for the weapon arc. How do you like it whenever I go straight for the weapon arc, eh? Again, went straight for the weapon arc. How do you feel, sir? Stop using the moon veil that way. Oh, hello. Uh, okay, classy lizard. Let's party. With barbaric roar. Interesting. Yes, sir. I can just about break that boy's ears. So I can. Just about, as long as you're not in a deep animation, I'm more or less drawn. Just out of range. Oh, dude. I'm sorry, but Stormblade is just so fucking unnecessary. GG, dude. Stormblade is unnecessary. Steve-O, hello. Uh, just a shield equipped. Rune arc equipped as well. Oh, and the flowing sword. Interesting choice. I'm curious now. Give him credit for going for the parry. So what do? Oh, there's the dude. There's the dude. Simmy's out, guys. Spicy jobs. <laughs> You're very lucky, sir. Really? <laughs> I am going to hell. Going to hell. Who are we against? Hello, the one guy that is actually going to be able to do it. Right to go, sir. Oh, you're switching. You're switching. See, his spacing is always fucking. I what? Oh wow, I walked into it too. This guy's spacing is always on fucking point, so it is. And it's actually kind of scary how on point it actually is. How did that miss? I'm going to say nothing. Oh, he got the parry! Well done, sir. See, the thing is, this guy is actually good. That's the problem. I got beat by somebody who was actually good at the game. Hello, sir. <clears throat> See, my problem is... <coughs> I'm nearly sure of it. I can't break his poise and his spacing is always on point. So... It's trying to work my way around how this guy actually thinks. I suppose if I fought him long enough, I could learn how to fight him. But I don't have that time. So I don't. That being where the main issue is. Like I can learn how to fight him. But it's. It's too much of a. It, for me it's too much of a learning curve as it sits. So it is. It's way too much of a learning curve. Oof. Get out of it that time. And now he's doing this shit again. So. G 
GG, sir. GG. Okay. Concerned that's us on our time limit for this recording. The joys. What's my opinion of the longsword? Um, it's actually not that bad if I have to be honest with you. The longsword's quite, quite the piece to be honest. Like it is, how do you even explain it? Like, it's funny because in all of the Dark Souls games, Dark Souls 1, 2 and 3, the longsword has always been that... Why, what would you call it? It's always been that staple weapon where it's, no matter what situation you put it in, it's always going to be good. Does that make sense? Like, it's weird. The longsword has always had that sort of renown where it's all, it's like the claymore. No matter what game it's in, it always has that. It's not so much a niche, but it just always has that strength behind it, so it does. So guys, I hope you all enjoyed. Please like, share, and subscribe if you didn't enjoy. And guys, I shall see you all in the next video. Goodbye.